So speaking of shout outs, Shirley Crone, the ultimate wise woman for us, when I was with Meals on Wheels, brought me into the legislative committee of the Advisory Council on Aging, serving the area agency and aging, advising, I should say, and brought me into that world, um, into the legislative work group, and in a way that I was kind of, do I belong here? Am I going to feel like I have imposter syndrome? Do I know what I'm talking about? I mean, advocacy is one thing, and I'll speak as, until I'm blue in the face on behalf of someone who needs help with that. But you got to understand the bills and the framework and and how things work on a state level. And so she introduced me to that. And Meals on Meals was going through a transition, and I stuck it out for a while and felt, you know what, I, I, my my voice is not the same here as it was, and it and I need to move on to something. And I think I'm going to learn what I can do a little bit more on a state level. I actually worked as a, a senior district representative representing East Contra Costa County for Senator Steve Glazer for two and a half years. During that time, because of my nonprofit background, because of my service to the older population, the senator assigned me um, anything involving social services and older adults. So when COVID hit, and this was this honestly was my favorite thing about the job, and this is what kept me connected to nonprofits, we did a regular, it was it started as a phone call, then it went to Zoom with nonprofits that were serving the people that were the most vulnerable to all of the impacts of COVID. And a large part of that was older population, but it was also the homeless and the people that were you know, struggling to get food on the table and whatever it was, people who had lost their jobs because of COVID. So we brought together a large group of nonprofits and then on it starting weekly and then went to bi-weekly, uh, bi-monthly, we just had these open discussions about what can we do to help? What can the state do to help? What, how can the Senator get involved in pushing something forward that's going to benefit. And it helped me stay really connected to the nonprofit world. And I, I missed it. And I ended up, when I left, the Senator was really very supportive about the whole thing, but I got back into nonprofit, which is where I belong. Nicole was one of the people on that call. You were one of the people on that call. This is how I kept my connections the, and I kept my ear to the ground. Award-winning, the award-winning <laughs> calls. <laughs> the Red Cross recognized, it was a huge honor the Red Cross recognized me for that. So Nicole brought me back in to Empowered Aging. I'd met her years and years before when I was working for a nonprofit that was um, recruiting senior volunteers, they called them. And I met with her to try and help her to recruit ombudsman volunteers. That's how I met Nicole. I think it was like, I think it was like eight years ago, something like that. Wow. Anyway, so I was very aware of the ombudsman work and of her work. So it wasn't a huge stretch for me to feel like this is home. And it is. I mean, nonprofit work in general and specifically working with older adults and adults with disabilities, this is where I belong. Yeah. Yeah. I agree 100% and wholeheartedly. And um, I think that probably the rest of the world agrees as well. So